Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm doing my first book review on this channel. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing The President, The President Has Been Shot, The Assassination of John F. Kennedy. This is book review number one. So basically I'm going to be giving a summary of the book, my own personal reading, and basically, um, is this book worth reading, or is it not? Basically, I'm going to give a lot of my own personal opinion in this one. Um, yeah. And I'll give an overall rating out of 5 stars at the end as well. So, you can stick around for that. So first, I'm going to start with the cons. Um, it's shorter than some of the other books in the series by James L. Swan Swanson. Um... If you don't know this author, he basically did a whole series on the assassination of important people. He did Martin Luther King Jr. He did John F. Kennedy, which is this book. And he also did another one on Abraham Lincoln. I can do other book reviews on those in the future. I'll see. But yeah, he did a bunch of those. Yeah, that's one of the cons. It was a little shorter. Some of the other books that were a little longer, but this book had way more details. Like the two other books, they were really long, but they didn't have as much detail, and it like spread it apart. I don't know which one I like better, but this is a good as well. It's a new new thing, and some images show the car, the present candy's limo. After he was assassinated. Some weird images at the end. Not a huge problem to me. But the, the second one's relevant to other people. But the main. The, the, there's the cons you can barely notice them. This one is only like one page or two pages. This one you might notice if you've read. um If you read The Assassination or Chasing King's Killer. Or which was the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. And if you read Chasing Lincoln's Killer, I think that's what it's called. Yep, Chasing Lincoln's Killer. Then, of course, it's going to be a little shorter than those books. So that's th those are two cons. You can barely notice them. The pros, it's a gr great detail about the entire event. Why well, well, it should, like showed like the time the time like the timeline of when he was getting assassinated it was really really detailed down to the like moments when he like uh, his assassin Harvey Lee Oswald when he got up in the building and you know got in position stuff like that and um, actually another thing I loved about it is it includes a lot about President Kennedy's early life and his presidential career or include like, included like his, his political career, and he also included some about mil some of Kennedy's military service. So President Kennedy did mil military service, so they talked about that a little bit. And that was at the beginning. It talked about early life as a kid and political career. Uh, it also focused on some uh, some events as Kennedy was president, and like I said in the beginning, great detail. It explains very small moments and makes them a couple pages. Like, like let's say in real life, an event happened. And it's only like five seconds. The this book they took it and made that five pages, which I really liked about that. It gave a lot of detail. You actually knew what was happening very clearly. It's not like some some other books, which it just gives like a half a page, and you and you don't know too much about what happened. It's not it's not like that. It's a, it's actually kind of better. That's what one one of the best things about this book is the detail. It when they went they showed a lot of detail in the book. The author, yeah. So now I'm going to give my overall rating. Overall, I would give this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. 
It was very detailed and the cons were barely noticeable. And is this book worth reading? And I think it is. It's definitely worth reading if you like this kind of topic. I like this kind of topic, you know, like nonfiction, historical. Historical, like nonfiction type. Like, it's like historical context. And it's not fiction, it's like what actually happened. I'm not too much of a, I don't like fiction as much as nonfiction. So I, I definitely like this topic, so I think it's worth reading for a person like me. If you like this kind of topic, then it's, I think it's worth reading. Worth reading for sure. Um, Another thing that I uh, forgot to mention that I like about this book is how they, they also like mention... Uh, President Kennedy's assassin, um, Oswald, Harvey Lee Oswald. They talk about his life as well, you know, parts of his life. And what led to the assassination, you know, what what, what was his cause. It all, uh, it, it talk about um, his escape, how he escaped and was eventually, well, we talk about the escape and... Yeah, that that's one of the things I like. They don't. It's not like something like with some of those books where it's just about the assassination. This book has three parts to it. One is President Kennedy's life, his early life, presidential career, presidential career, military service. Talks about the assassination. Before the assassination, they talk about Harvey Lee Oswald, his his assassin. Talk about his life. And then, leading up to the assassin, after the assassination, they talk about his escape, his capture, you know, how that happened. And then the, the book ends with, the book ends um, talking about, like, you know, how the U.S. reacted and stuff like that. How the America reacted to that event. So it has three big, like sections to it which i think is very very cool and it's just very detailed that's one of the best things about this book is it's very detailed like even though the book is a little bit shorter it's very detailed i i i i've not like this is probably the most detailed book out of all three and that's in the series by james l swanson I just think it's very detailed, and that that's what makes this book like really stand out. And again, the cons you can barely notice them. You know, this is only like one page, and this since there's so much detail, this just gets covered up. I I don't think there's any even need for this. So basically, there's only one main con, which it's only one page. And that's that's it. I think this book is very close, close to a five out of five. But, I just bumped it down because of the, it's a little bit shorter, you can notice it, because even though there's a lot of detail, it's not as long as, well, I, I like, I like that the reason it was shorter is because the actual event was that short, like, the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., um, it was very long, uh, it, the book was very long because the event was very long, and, this event was a little bit shorter. That's why they did. Iron, like that's how it works in these kind of books. But I, I kind of like that better because you actually get to feel the historical context. And uh, yeah, that's why I like this book a lot. Again, it's very detailed. This is like the number one thing about this book is the detail. So that is going to be it for the book review. I will do more of these in the future.